So it all begins with the cave. That's the, the first kind of architecture, I suppose. That column that was landing right in the middle of the bridge, that was a little weird. It's always important to get the lights in before everything else. Do we always see the figure in Minecraft? I'm just gonna start by saying it's not realistic. Some of the basic principles are realistic, right? Like an 8-bit world? It's an 8-bit world. It's a <laughs> Lego world. And I wouldn't even say that the way that he's building it is the way that you would actually build a real building. What do you think, Alexis? <laughs> this sort of additive, decorative approach. Well, he never really created a door either, so I'm curious what this thing is for. It looks like it's going to be some kind of dwelling. But somehow there's a magic well, fire. <laughs> in architecture and engineering and construction, he's building like with masonry units, right? But they're actually not made of mason. They're meant to represent wood. This is some kind of weird, you know, slate shingle thing. Even the, uh, the, the foliage is made of kind of blocks, right? Right, just scaled differently. It's like sort of a cinder block world. It's a cinder block world. It's like building with blocks. This is Minecraft. It's charming. It's charming. It's more about like the overall effect, right? <laughs> like you're, you're kind of, you know, the process of building it isn't, it, they're not considering structure. They're not thinking about <laughs> the process of building it. They're not thinking about the, the sequence of construction, all those kinds of things you think about when you're, when you're building a building. And yet it's the gut and ordering logic that's just specific as any sort of natural physics order as well. It's just particular to the code. What, what do you mean? I don't get that. Well, the, the ordering logic for how you build in Minecraft is this sort of additive Boolean block-based system. Right. Just like in architecture, there's certain laws of physics that dictate how things occur as well. Physics they just is happen not to be different. Yeah, but physics isn't dictating what he's doing right now. It's a berm, a berm structure. It's climate friendly. It's a, that's yeah, it's true. It's an earth shelter. So he's he's building up thermal mass around it so that you can retain heat and uh, it's kind of a thermal flywheel which will keep it cool in the summers. I like the magic chimneys. You just put the block there and then it's on fire. It's like those ethanol ones. Oh, and it's like yeah. yard tiles, <laughs> like yeah. carpet yeah. tiles. I mean, I wish it was this easy to build buildings or build anything. I, I suppose some methods of construction are aspire to be this easy. It's never going to be as straightforward as Minecraft. Imagine though living in a world that looked like this. Okay, now we're actually excavating. Yeah, that's not exactly how that happens. <laughs> I love how there's magically a window. <laughs> yeah, right. He uncovered it. Well, he dug through his own building <laughs> to get there. Yeah, you really don't put the front door in and then start excavating because the whole thing would come down on top of you. A little ceiling work. He's digging out. What are we making, a mausoleum? At first I thought it was a nice hippie earth ship, but this is looking very formidable. No, I think he, it said at the beginning that it's a hobbit hole. I always thought hobbits lived in organic, curvilinear um, types houses. Is there a good way to make curves in Minecraft? That's a that's an interesting question. Like the world sort of looks the way it looks in Minecraft because it's all blocks. Right, It'd be interesting if they inter Yeah, yeah, you have to do it with um, steps. I think these hobbits live very modern. There's our, our chest of weapons, right. which is important when you're a hobbit. I, I wanted to look at the interiors more. <laughs> All right, here he goes. He's putting in a perimeter beam. Now he's infilling the it's, floor slab. It's like an upside down grade beam. See, that's not supported by anything yet. It seems like this person who, who was doing, you know, building this, knew exactly what they wanted before they even began. It's always important to get um, the lights in before everything else. Right. Space between <laughs> columns. Okay. Yeah, there's, the, you know, typically in a building, like you would you would maybe define the, the huh. logic of the structure, the location of the columns, the column grid, and a lot of the design would proceed from from that. In this case, it, it he's, he's doing things in a little, maybe, He's, he's building walls, at the same time he's doing columns, same time he's doing beams. Building so, infill-like so, columns, but also the columns would traditionally be stacked 
on top of the piers that go in the water. So all the gravity load mm -hmm. transfers for directly. It would be unusual to build this way. The columns that would go <laughs> all the way down. He's transferring the load through the slab, uh, which is not mm -hmm. unheard of, but... Through the diaphragm. Through the diaphragm. <laughs> it's a little bit like the, the, the kind of mixed-use buildings that they do in LA. You build a, um, a concrete deck and then you build a basically build another building on top of that deck out of wood, right? You dig out the parking, you do a system of columns uh, below grade, and then you cast a slab on top of that. And on top of that slab, you build six levels of wood construction, which then becomes mm. housing. Mm -hmm. That's true. I was also so, thinking of the, like in Mexico, the term iron of hope when you leave the rebar sticking out of the roof right. um, so that someday you can add that next story. I've never heard that expression, iron of hope. Who, where does that come from? That's what the rebar sticking out is. That's what it's called. Look at that. It's like they use the same decorator as the Hobbit house. The only thing that I find when I Google Iron of Hope is... Something to do with wrestling? No, it has something to do with mental health. So in this case, he's building a kind of plinth, right? Uh, it looks like mm -hmm. he's going to infill the bottom there with stairs. That's my guess. I love just building the front door on one side and then doing the other. <laughs> now he's building he's building a, a porch. But it's similar technique in some ways to the, the water one we just saw. It's like a tribe. This is how they build. Well, what do you think the historical precedent is for this one? Well, I mean, the portico is, you know, that goes back to classical architecture, right? You know, you, you've got that in Greece. <laughs> right. Not exactly the same pitch, but I, I think that the people that are building in Minecraft kind of like oftentimes, maybe they're not architects, but they're building, you know, they kind of build based on these archetypes that everybody knows that feels right to them. And that... That's what we're seeing here. I like the living roof. I mean, it's it's like breathing. Yeah, this is like the uh, the meth lab in Breaking Bad. It's like he's <laughs> digging it out from underneath the house. See, he's got a nice arch in that bridge. Built up the he's built up more structure at where it launches. It's lovely. That column that was landing right in the middle of the bridge. That was a little weird. Looks like we're jailbreaking Excavation. now. <laughs> I like the noises, sort of rodent like. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Yeah, the, no the noises in Minecraft are really satisfying. Like the, you get like a satisfying little click when you when you insert a block. What this is kind of interesting because he's they're excavating and then putting a retaining wall. So you would never do it underground like that, I don't think. But it's there's sort there's some accuracy. Unless you're building a meth lab in Breaking Bad. Okay, so this thing reminds me a little <laughs> bit of the Snowden House by um, Lloyd Wright that's in um, Los Feliz. The other view of it, maybe not that elevation that we were that they ended on, but the, mm. one, the first elevation that he was working on. Oh, look, this one's made out of logs, maybe. Heavy timber. Heavy timber. <laughs> that's what we call that. I'm getting a Handmaid's Tale thing with the, the block head. It's almost like a bonnet. <laughs> I don't see that, but okay. <laughs> this is amazing. And filled it with wood and a window, but there's no interior. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's like the uh, the exterior is like the, um, the temples at Petra. They've carved into the surface of rock, but then they hollow out the inside, which is so contrary to anything that somebody would ever do today. The reductive um, architecture. They look kind of in the proportion and their details, a little bit like classical Greek temples. Ben, don't you think there is a, a cave to start with? There was some sort of interior space. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's where it all began, right? Okay, so yeah, we're going way back. So it all begins with the cave. That's the, the first kind of architecture, I suppose. Except in Minecraft world, where we start with facade and then we make the interior. I like how all the plants are kind of moving all the time. It's like tripping a little. <laughs> Thanks for watching Gameology. For more, check out YouTube or Facebook. I'm Alexis Redinger. You can find me at Preen Inc. on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at ball underscore noges underscore studio.